Hey everybody, Massachusetts Prepper here. This is Massachusetts Prepper. I didn't want a frozen berry. It's frozen and hard. This is Massachusetts Prepper. Is getting all my berries. Yeah, look, I gotta go to work pretty soon. all these frozen berries that's gonna go into some fruit roll-ups she got these frozen berries on sale buy one get one free so we're gonna take those process them in the blender mix them all up make some nice fruit leathers out of them if I can keep Mrs. Massachusetts Prepper out of the berries. Hey everybody, Massachusetts Prepper back at you. I'll be doing up some fruit leathers today. Got this Welch's four berry mix that my wife picked up on sale at the local grocery store. Uh, kind of let these thaw out. Um, Show you what we got here. If you can see in there, some assortment of berries. There's blackberries, raspberries, blueberries, and strawberries. I'm going to throw these in the blender, mix them up, and uh, make our fruit leathers. about to there and we're going to go ahead and puree this and uh, we'll just do a couple of pulses here to kind of get things going well we've got our pureed mixture all done up here of our nice berries as you can see um, we're going to take these and put them on our non-stick sheets to make the uh, fruit leathers so we're just going to go ahead and spoon some out on here now we're going to take and uh, leave this thicker on the edges then we are in the middle because what we want this to do is dry out the center will dry out a little bit slower and the edges are going to dry out a little quicker so we're going to make sure that the edges stay thicker than the center but we're just going to kind of spread this all out on here and while we get this done we won't keep you all here but um, we get them all done. We'll bring you all right back Okay, well, we've got all the um, Berry mixture from those two three pound bags. So a total of six pounds of um, Fruit strawberries blackberries raspberries and blueberries all pureed Put in here give me enough to do all nine trays in the Excalibur um, as you can see all nine trays are full so um, this will be my first time using the Excalibur uh, I've been using the Nesco American Harvest and that's a, a fine little machine but we've got everything set in here we're gonna go ahead and get this all set up and ready to go get our temperature set okay we're gonna go ahead and get this set at 135 Gonna let this go and uh, see how things turn out now something I did notice about the Excalibur is it's a little bit louder than the Nesco American Harvest uh, this machine runs really really quiet see this one does do a little bit more vibrating running a little bit louder uh, but we're gonna see how it does hopefully it'll dry things really good for us okay everybody well we're back 
most of these fruit roll-ups are done. Now, this being my first attempt at fruit roll-ups, we kind of got a, a mess here. Uh, I did learn a few things. Um, my fruit roll-ups are pretty thin, as you can see. Um, they're still tasty, but they are thin. So I learned that I really need to make my mixture a little bit thicker. Kind of about like this piece here. Uh, this turned out nice and thick. Um, but most of my stuff turned out really nice and thin. As you can see, you can almost see through it. So um, for my first attempt, uh, definitely it's got to go on thicker. And uh, it'll, it'll probably turn out much, much better. Um, but all in all, really good flavor. Tastes really good. Just needs to be thicker. The thick pieces turned out okay. The really paper thin pieces, not so much. So. Anyway, this was my uh, learning experience doing fruit leathers, and uh, I definitely learned that I need to put it a little bit thicker on there next time. Now, one thing I will add, um, I put the, this fruit roll-up or fruit leather mixture in the dehydrator about 3 o'clock this afternoon, and uh, right now we're looking at 11.17. Um, so, been in there just about eight hours. Um, nine trays, eight hours. Everything's pretty much dry. But overall, not bad for my first attempt at fruit leathers. So, uh, I, I'm happy with it. it. Turned out pretty good. Um, I think if it was just a single berry blend, um, the color might have looked more appealing. But um, all in all, Tastes good. Okay, well, here's our fruit roll-ups. Uh, you can see we got got a few of them uh, for my first attempt. I don't think it turned out too bad. Um, the majority of them, um, we were able to get some nice sheets out of them. Uh, just next time, I will have to take and go much thicker with them. Um, but for the most part, they turned out pretty good, and they are tasty, so uh, they should probably last the kids <laughs> oh, probably a couple of days, and they'll have these devoured, because uh, when I was turning them over, the few pieces that I gave the kids, they really seemed to like them. Uh, everybody said they tasted good. Uh, this will conclude this um, video of making fruit leathers for the first time, so I did learn a lot. I know where I made my mistakes and know what I got to do different next time. So until next time, Massachusetts Prepper. See y'all later.